Hi, and thanks for watching again. It's another video tutorial from Sperry Software for our Outlook add-ins. And this time around, we're going to talk about auto print. We get started, I'm already in Outlook, and we go to our Sperry Software item on the menu, then click on the far left on the ribbon, and it will display any of the add-ins that we have installed. At this time, I only have auto print as the only add-in I have installed. Now, there are quite a few options with auto print, incoming email, outgoing email, print settings, print now, exceptions. But this video tutorial is going to focus on incoming email. You should know that the incoming email and outgoing email options are very much the same. And we'll do a quick run through of the other options, print settings, print now, and exceptions at the end of this tutorial. So uh, stay tuned. Auto print does exactly what it says. It gives you the ability to automatically print emails or attachments to emails as they come into your inbox, or for that matter, any incoming folder that you have set up in Outlook. In order to make that happen, you have to set up at least one folder, and you can, of course, do multiple folders that you wish the add-in to work with. You also define the kinds of Outlook items you want printed, and if you're printing attachments, then you can select the type of attachments that you want to print specifically. So let's get to the details of automatically setting up a folder to print with auto print. Now, I've already been in here once, and I've already selected my inbox to automatically print, but I'm going to show you some additional filters here because I don't want to print everything that comes into my inbox. First of all, let me show you how you add additional folder or folders. There are two buttons here. You can choose one folder with the top button, or if you wish to choose more than one folder, choose multiple folders with the button below that. That's what we're going to do in this case. Once you do that, you get an Explorer type display on the left side where you can click a checkbox and select any folder that you want to have automatically operated on with the add-in, meaning it will look at the items in that folder, look to meet the filter conditions that you've set up, and then automatically print the items that meet the criteria. I've already selected inbox, let's do one more here. I'm going to select my news feed and then click OK. And note when you do that, it does remind you that Outlook needs to be restarted in order to have the folders monitored for printing. All right, so let's look at these specific options back here on the incoming email screen. And keep in mind again, the outgoing email options are very similar to this. Filter rules, this is where you can get more and more specific about what exactly is printed for the folders that are selected above. You can do all the incoming emails, which usually is not going to be the case. You'll probably want to get a little more specific than that. So I'm going to click on the button that says only those which match. And when I enable that, it gives me four separate lines for setting up a set of criteria that the emails must match in order to be printed automatically. First is to look in the subject line. I'm going to have anything that has the word images, documents, contract, or urgent automatically print. The next option is for sender name, just what it says. I'll just put in as a sample, I want anything that comes from Smith or Jones. And notice I separate multiple entries with a semicolon. Sender address works very much the same way, but keep in mind you can use wildcards here. So if you want to do a certain domain name or a certain set of domain names like I'm doing, again, separated by semicolons. And then the to address works exactly like the sender address. And the last section is what to print. Do you want to print just the email? Or do you want to print attachments with a certain file type? I'm going to turn off the email printing feature, but I do want to print the attachments. And I want to print the PDFs, the TIFF files, and the JPEGs. So that's how you set up the criteria that will filter the folders you've selected for auto print. Let's quickly run through the rest of the features here with auto print. Outgoing email, we're not going to spend a lot of time on. It works exactly like your incoming boxes, except in this case, you're not selecting a folder. It only operates on your outgoing emails. The rest of the criteria will look very similar to the incoming email, and you can use the wildcards in semicolon separator just like before. Print settings you'll find very helpful by using some simple checkboxes and clickable buttons you have greater control over the print process, like resizing the image, centering an image on the page, you can define page setup, and so on. Print Now gives you the option to print things that are in the selected folders right now. If you select the button at the top, it will use the criteria in the filter and what to print settings in the auto print incoming email tab that we set up earlier. But as an alternative, you can click the button below that says print everything in the folder selected below, then you can select folders that are independent from your incoming email settings. And exceptions, again, is exactly what you think it would be. Even though you've set up all the criteria you want in your incoming email folders, you can set some additional exceptions to those rules here. So if you don't want to print your company's terms and conditions, for example, that come back to you on a regular basis, you can say that here. So it still meets all your other criteria, but 
that file specifically, it's not going to print. So that's auto print. Thanks for using our products and be looking for more video tutorials from Sperry Software.